Hey, hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to do another 3D equilibrium problem using the right hand rule. Um, this one says a 10 foot boom is acted upon by an 840 pound force shown. I determine the tension in each cable and the reaction at the ball and socket joint at point A. And the first thing we want to do is make our free body diagram. Okay, in order to um, set this problem up for the right hand rule as if it were a 2D problem, uh, we'll just draw little force triangles on these cables right here. But I want you to realize here the magnitude of these vectors when we set these up, uh, the vector BD is negative six seven six and b e is negative six seven negative six uh, both of these b d and b e have the same magnitude that is eleven uh, but notice we want to take the moment we want to find all the moments about this boom which is along the x-axis the x-coordinate of these vectors is not going to affect our moment it's going to be parallel to the x-axis and so we won't have to worry about that moment so when I draw these triangles I'm only going to concern myself with the z component going this direction and the y component going this direction alright so these are both going to be set up as a 6, 7, 6, 7 and then our magnitude over here is going to be 11 because we still have to square all three of those, right? Or take the square root of all three of them squared. Okay, and this load right here is 840 pounds straight down. All right, so when we go to set this up, um, we look at the moment. Look at the moment about x. Notice that both of the forces from these cables and this load and our reaction forces, all of these intersect the x-axis and so we won't even worry about the moment about the x-axis. Uh, first we'll, t we'll start and we'll take a look at the moment about y. Okay, so let's sum the moments about the y-axis. You see about the y-axis here we have the cable BD which would pull the boom in this direction. So if we put our fingers in the rotation the direction of the rotation, my thumb will be pointing down, that's a negative y, so we have negative force of BD, and we have the z component of this which is 6 over 11, times our x distance here of 6 feet, and then BE is doing the same thing, pulling it the other way, it would rotate it this direction, so our thumb is pointing up in the positive y direction, BE, 6 elevenths at distance of 6 equals 0 and so from this you should be able to see that BD equals BE which you probably could have gotten just by symmetry if you see the two cables are the same you know those will be the same alright now we will sum the moments about our Z axis uh, notice that cable BD would be pulling the z-axis to rotate this direction so our thumb is pointing in the positive z-axis likewise is cable BE 
also pulling it to rotate in that direction, which is pulling it in the positive Z direction. However, this 840 pound load over here is causing it to rotate back the other way, so that one will be negative. Uh, so we set this up here. sum of the moments about the z-axis equals zero. We have negative 840 times the distance of 10 plus the force of BD. This one is going to be 7 elevenths times the distance of 6, right? Because our vertical distance here, our vertical force, is what's causing that moment. Uh, minus plus BE 7 elevenths times 6 equals 0 here. Okay, and remember uh, from the last axis we found that BD equals BE, so we could just call these the same thing. And when you solve this, you find that that tension is equal to 1100 pounds. Okay, now we already know the tension in both cables, and so all we have to do is sum the forces X, Y, and Z in order to find our reaction forces at A. So the sum of the forces in the X direction, we have the force of BD minus BD pulling back this way. Uh, the X component is 6 over 11 minus BE. Again, the x component is 6 over 11 plus ax equals 0. And then we sum the forces in the y direction. You have bd. This time our y component is 7 over 11. Plus be 7 elevenths minus this 840 straight down plus AY equals zero. And if we sum the forces in the Z direction, you get plus BD pulling this way. Our Z component is 6 over 11 minus BE pulling back the other way. 6 over 11 plus AZ equals 0. And that will give us a reaction force at A of 1200 pounds in the I direction minus 560 in the J direction and 0 in the Z direction. Alright, and that's it. We're done with this one. Uh, so much faster with the right hand rule. I'm going to throw a little time lapse here at the end to show you how long it would take uh, if you did it by the position vector across the force vectors. Okay, because if we're taking an A bit timed exam. Um, you can be sure that this is going to save you a whole lot of time compared to doing it the long way. Alright, hopefully you guys will practice and get good at that. Thank you.